My dudes, it's been a minute since we had an update on uh, on the Osford and all of this. So I uh, thought I'd take a second to show you guys where we're at. So the boards for version 1.5 are in. Uh, the majority of the changes are things that, uh, that have come in from everybody that uh, was awesome enough to pick up the first version. So uh, the entire board has been extended out. We're a nice rectangle now. Uh, mounting holes have been changed a little to add uh, even better stability. Uh, the uh, switches at the top, matter of fact, everything is reverse mounted now. So uh, let me see if I got a complete board right around here somewhere. Uh, here's a nightmare partial board. Let's let's not look too closely, but uh, <laughs> it's one of my first test guys. We can see everything is mounted underneath. Uh, the switches on the back coming out the back, they are on the bottom, right? So just stick through a little bit. On the top, everything else is through cutouts. So top is very clean, very easy to uh, to work with, apply art to, etc. Uh, we have a uh, improved brick board connector. Uh, so it's actually in a, a housing, so it's easier to use that 20 pin cable. Um, we have a Stim QT connector. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, this is a uh, standardized connector for attaching other kinds of devices. So we've played around with things like screens, speakers, other sort of weird accessories, but uh, this gives you a lot of options to customize your stick in the future. Uh, that's also what this enormous weird hole is for is so that any cable can go in and pass through if the thing you're attaching needs to go on the front. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's a very similar layout to the first board. Uh, still 12 uh, hot swap kale sockets, uh, a uh, uh, reverse mount RGB LED. You have your four sort of status slash player number lights depending on what mode you're in. Uh, we have a, well, it's not on here. Let's go back to the empty board. These were the Raspberry Pi Pico mounts, uh, just like normal, uh, set up so it can be mounted with castellated holes, so it's very flush. Uh, and the other big change dimensions wise is a lot of people mentioned how cramped it looked coming from the sides after people played with it for a bit. Uh, it's now moved to where there's a greater space between uh, uh, the, directional buttons and the action buttons. So a little space added there. So what does it look like when it's all put together? How does it work? Blah, blah, blah also. I'm sorry, I'm just I'm just super proud of that. It looks sick. Woo! All right, moving on. What does it look like when it's actually put together? Bam. So here is uh, an early prototype of the case for it. Uh, there is also a clear acrylic layer that goes on top of this uh, so that art can be placed in. Uh, but right now, while I'm kind of banging it around pretty hard, I, uh, you know, don't want to break anything. Uh, you can see that uh, it's very slim, uh, no side coverings. It's all held together uh, with those uh, SMT soldered uh, standoffs. Uh, three millimeter acrylic on the top and bottom. Uh, P95, so it's got that sick matte black finish. Uh, this is where your brookboard connector is. Uh, it's missing on this board because this is my uh, super abused test baby. Uh, this is this is the first one assembled, if you will. Uh, otherwise, nice and simple. Like I said, hot swap sockets, so easy to change your mind on what buttons you want. Uh, and then we have some software features that have uh, already come to version one, but I thought I'd show off quickly. Uh, you notice right now it's plugged in, no LEDs are on. That was that was a concern for some people who didn't want to be blinded. Uh, there's a very easy hot key uh, on this one at the moment. It is start and select, although this button over here is reserved for it in the future. Press start and select and I can cycle through various LED animations, solid colors. Uh, these are some, some of the uh, GP2040 software settings for particular consoles or arcade setups where only certain buttons are lit up. That's very easy to customize. I'm gonna step back through to, where's my beautiful rainbow? There we go. Uh, and able to adjust brightness. So these things are obviously extremely bright. If you don't wanna be blinded, very easy to adjust that. Turn it all the way off if you want. So uh, same thing, uh, SOCD settings, whether it is uh, neutral, uh, last one wins, etc., etc. All of that is very easily configurable. 
on the stick itself uh, as you're playing. So uh, you wouldn't really want to do it in the middle of a fight. Uh, one, because that's weird. Two, because potential for random inputs. But point being, when you get it, when you set up, if you need to switch things, very quick, very easy. So uh, still a few things left to work out. And uh, then these things are going to go into production. So uh, if you got any comments, please let me know. Uh, right now I'm uh, happily uh, losing in, uh, in, in scrub ranks and teching with this thing. All right. Thanks, guys. Later.